Hey, what's up guys, it's Andrew. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change up how the car mode works on your HTC One. Now, in Sense 6, they disable the ability to use the notification shade and multitasking when you're in car mode. And that can be kind of annoying, especially if you're trying to switch between apps quickly when you're using it. So, in order to change that up, we're going to be installing the Exposed Module HTC Car Mode Exposed. And that's going to bring back that functionality along with a couple more things. So to get started, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Expose. And then from there, just install HTC Car Mode from the download section. After you have it installed, go ahead and reboot your phone as well. So now that it's installed, go ahead and hit the reboot option and the notification that pops up. Alright, now that you've restarted, go ahead and open up the Car Expose icon in your app drawer and now you have the option to allow the status bar pull down and multitasking when you're in car mode these options have been known to be kind of buggy at times but i've been using them for a couple of days now and they've been working pretty smoothly you could also change up the way the home button reacts normally when you're in car mode when you press home it'll bring you back to the default screen in car mode but with this you could change it up to go back to your default launcher if you're just kind of trying to go into car mode in and out really quick and you could also disable the exit confirmation pop-up as well. The developer also included um, options to auto start or shut down Wi-Fi and GPS. This is like helpful if you know you're going to be using navigation a lot or if you know you're not going to be using Wi-Fi when you're in the car. Just go ahead and make it so that it automatically turns off. All you're going to do is just tap it and then just hit, hit turn off and you'll be all set. Same thing goes with GPS. I'll have it turned on. And that's it. You should also know that Bluetooth is automatically enabled by default when you enter car mode as well. Um, but it also, it also shuts down when you turn it off as well. So now in car mode, you can see that I could go ahead and bring back notification shade. And when I press the home button, it goes back to the default screen. I don't get that, um, that exit confirmation pop up. That's pretty much it right now for car exposed. The developer does plan on adding more features in the future, so always be sure to check back into its post to see if there's any new updates. And I'm pretty sure I'll be updating the, this guide as well when there's updates available. Be sure to check out the full tutorial linked in the description. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.